to start box modeling a redfish. And so uh, everyone should have done the preliminary um, work in Maya and creating uh, simple shapes, getting familiarized with the different interfaces, how to use a hotkey like hot, uh, hotbox and also spacebar, W and E and R and alt and option and all the mouse buttons uh, for Maya. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with uh, uh, Photoshop really quickly, get a image prepped. Uh, I grabbed something off the internet. Uh, typically I don't like to do that because this is uh, someone else's image, but I'm using it really quickly as a reference. I'm not gonna utilize it in any other way. Uh, we'll use some textures from Real Fish, hopefully, and project it onto the surface. So we're just kind of using this as a silhouette. So basically I did put it in Photoshop and I have it by 1200 by 1200. I went ahead and saved it as a JPEG. Everyone should probably know how to do that. But again, it's good to have uh, one by one ratios when you go into uh, Maya, it makes it a little bit easier. All right, and so on the Mac, I'm just going to hit Command Tab to jump in between uh, my different uh, pieces of software. So hopefully you guys have a little bit bigger screen than I do. I'm just on my laptop. Uh, it's always great to have a, another monitor so you can put your source imagery on the side so you're always looking at what you're modeling or looking at some fresh notes or some drawings, et cetera, when you're modeling. All right, so for the first one, we're just gonna kind of, kind of build a primitive uh, fish, kind of like what you did with the, the second video that I sent out and we're gonna continue on from that. So what we're gonna do is basically break this into three videos, I think, maybe possibly four, but basically where we can all mo uh, model something within the two hours that we have with Maya, and then jump into ZBrush to do some texturing, and then uh, move on to uh, Substance Painter, and then go back to Maya and rig it, and then hopefully do a little bit of Unity also. All right, so what we wanna do is bring in the image so we have something as a reference. And again, I'm not using that image any other than just as a silhouette to create some uh, pretty cool shapes. So uh, we're gonna go into view here and we're gonna go image plane import image. All right, and we're gonna go to uh, Miami and Redfish and we have a JPEG. All right, so we're gonna hit that. Uh, I am gonna hit R, it is a kind of an image and I'm gonna expand it pretty big so we have enough room to take this box here and extrude it out uh, properly. All right, uh, I am going to put this layer on an independent layer and I just clicked on that right click and I create a new layer at my right click and add selected objects. So you can see I turn it on and off. Also I can hit R so I'm not accidentally hitting it over and over. I do wanna go ahead and turn off my grid. So I just uh, right click and hit uh, show and I turned off the grid right there. All right, so I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly. Uh, again, uh, during the workshop, I'll probably go really fast and then have you guys kind of go back and look over this video uh, during the duration of the class. So you have a reference. So go at your own speed and you don't have to get it. Uh, this is a lot to tackle in one day. Um, so uh, just go at your own pace. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully you're familiarized with uh, the, the cube here and we're gonna go right click and uh, hit vertex and so we're gonna pull this and we're gonna try to mimic uh, the thickness of a fish. And when you're doing this, hopefully you guys have access to all these wonderful creatures uh, either through a lab at the school I've checked it here uh, at VT, uh, and uh, we do have some specimens, but they're all pickled. Uh, this could be an opportunity to pull those out, do photogrammetry. I'll show some processes tomorrow or here in just a second uh, on what that could look like for a species that's not related to the Everglades or, uh, uh, or, or that region of Florida where you're at. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start extruding out this uh, faces so we can start building out kind of a, a robotic fish. And you wanna keep it very, very simple at the beginning. Just wanna create some uh, simple uh, shapes as you go along. All right, and as you saw there, uh, I just basically went right click face. I'm gonna go over that quickly or slowly 
And so I have this selected, you can see it kind of highlighted and I hold down my shift and right click hold and extrude. Again, this is what we did with the uh, chair. So I'm gonna go all the way up to where this fin is starting so I can extrude out a fin later. Also we have uh, probably cut right here and extrude out this fin also. Again, I don't have uh, front, side, top uh, views of this. So I don't know how thick this uh, fish is. And I didn't do a lot of photographs of the fin. So we're doing a lot of guessing, a lot of artist interpretation. I hate to say that uh, because it's been a while since I've gone fishing with, uh, for redfish. All right, and, and when I did it, it was up in the, the panhandle of uh, Florida. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and pull that forward. Again, we're just gonna make kind of a robot block fish and we're gonna hit G and hit W. And we could have not hit W, could have just kept pulling that out. All right, so I'm gonna keep pulling this out. Again, not using this image other than just as a reference. Uh, we'll get rid of it, hopefully find some other textures online that we can use at more uh, authentic uh, real images. All right, so there you go. Very, very simple building blocks. Uh, not a lot of uh, splits. I wanna keep it very simple. We are gonna add a lot more splits down the road and once we get into ZBrush, we're really gonna go really to town on these uh, different uh, striations. All right, so I'm gonna go right click and vertex and I am gonna space bar and go to uh, my force ortho view, my uh, side view. All right, so when I say marquee, it means uh, click left mouse and go over. So it's grabbing the front and the back uh, vertexes. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling these up. All right, we're gonna keep pulling this up and around. Again, I wish I had image of a real fish. Uh, if you can control the lighting and control the angle of what you want for the fish. And really quickly, I'm just kind of moving this up and down. It's gonna be like a block of cheese or uh, soap that we're carving uh, with a knife or a butter knife. All right, so we're just a really, really simple shape, all right? So just going, and we're not worrying about these external fins. We're gonna get to that in just a little bit. So I'm just gonna go like this, just like what we did before with that preliminary uh, model that we did with the fish, we're doing the same thing. All right, so uh, let's go up to the front. I think I left the mouse, this uh, mouth hanging open there. Let's go ahead and bring that up. All right, so let's continue on. Uh, let's go to our uh, perspective and you can kind of see it's kind of a, Definitely a wonky shape. And I'm gonna go ahead and shift, select all these. I'm gonna hit R and squeeze that down. So you start to see kind of a, more of a round shape versus uh, that flat, broad uh, look. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and start grabbing uh, these vertexes, all right. So try to follow along. We'll, we'll do this definitely in class and uh, follow along the best you can. And as we get through the, the mid part of the fish, I imagine uh, it's a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. And as we, let's go up to the top view. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. All right, it's probably a lot thicker than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and broaden this out. And then as we go towards the tail, obviously it's gonna get thinner and thinner. All right, and this would have been just so awesome if we had the fish and we could have actually done some measurements or, or at least held it up and taken kind of some ortho views or top views of this. All right, so boom, right there we have pretty good uh, kind of a silhouette of this fish. Okay, not super exciting, but uh, definitely a good start. So we're gonna turn off our back of uh, that image so we can uh, kind of see behind the scenes here. So one of the things we wanna do ever so often is delete some faces. So every time we extrude, it makes uh, this back calling. We don't want that. So we're just gonna select it and uh, select it and hit backspace and uh, delete it. Make sure you're not grabbing one of these and accidentally uh, putting a hole in the fish. Uh, that's all right if you do, we can fix it, but try not to do that. 
So we're going to go ahead and turn um, that back on. So it's quite primitive and it's hard edge. And so I'm going to hit the number three. So uh, excellent, hit the, the button to stop recording and then uh, almost lost my mile file. So definitely get into the habit of saving. Uh, and I want to show you really quickly a, a trick. And so every 10 minutes you should do this just in case it just what just happened just now. You don't want to have to start all the way from scratch. Every five minutes uh, you want to hit increment and save. All right, so this will do a 001. And then when you hit it again, it'll turn to 002. So that way if you make a grand mistake, you can go back in time and check it out. So uh, I'm on a Mac laptop and it, my finger always hits the stop recording button on the very uh, top dashboard, which I hate. Uh, so we're gonna hit uh, three and you can kind of see a, a smooth, it looks like a uh, lovely uh, cheddar cheese goldfish. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead back and hit one and get that up. All right, so we're not done uh, by no means. Uh, so we're gonna continue on. We're gonna go ahead and put our image up there as a silhouette. All right, so one of the things I'm gonna go ahead and start working uh, part by part to start this getting exciting about pushing things around. All right, one of the things I'm gonna do is push this back uh, to where the mouth uh, starts. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up and start pulling these things back where they were. All right, so we can start to have something to model. All right, so we go down here, down here. All right, and what I'm gonna do is uh, go into uh, my perspective, spin around. And again, to spin around, you have your option and move around. So it's pretty uh, short nose here. So I'm gonna grab this and shift this and pull that out. And we're gonna start uh, adding some dimensions uh, or some more lines to this. So we're gonna go object mode, shift, insert edge loop, loop tool. And so we're gonna select uh, this right here. I'm gonna go and hit my selection tool, which is Q if you ever wanna get out of it. It's a hot key, which uh, is good to know. All right, so we're gonna pull this up, hit W to move. Again, this is gonna be very, very challenging the first time you do it. Uh, but uh, just give it a go and, you know, you'll have to model this several times to get used to it. Uh, once you get to your second or third form, it'll get easier and easier. So just extrude, I'm gonna hit G, which will extrude again, hit G one more time. So this gives me some geometry to start sculpting the mouth. All right, a lot of this stuff will be in ZBrush, but we want, definitely want a kind of a crude uh, surface to start working with. So I'm gonna hit Shift, hold down, extrude, face, and then we're gonna go pull this out uh, once. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, vertex. I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling the mouth apart so we have a little wiggle room in there to model. All right, pull this up really quickly. I'm gonna grab that face. All right, and we're gonna extrude again. And we're gonna start pulling out a separate mouth here. All right, so just keep pulling out uh, G one more time and G one more time. All right, so now it's starting to look like a porpoise, which is what we don't want. And so now we want to start shaping that kind of a, a kind of semi-open mouth and we can rig it so it will close or uh, depending on how it breathes, we're, we'll do some kind of breathing cycles with this. Again, you guys are probably more knowledgeable about the sea life, uh, about how these things behave. Uh, so one of the things I want to do is go to shading and hit X-ray. So it allows me to kind of see my form and also see through it. This is helpful for what we're doing right now. We want to basically uh, pull these uh, surfaces around here. All right, so I'm actually gonna pull this up above the eye. All right, so we'll probably uh, split it again here shortly and create an eye socket so we can start modeling that. So I'm gonna start just pulling around. Again, model at your own pace. Uh, you, you all will get the same uh, Maya file shortly and we'll, you know, go f jump from here to uh, ZBrush. So we'll all kind of at the same starting point. All right, so I'm just going to start pulling these points down. Just creating kind of a silhouette of the redfish. All 
All right, and basically, kind of want to look at uh, your lines here. Just make sure they have a nice flow to them. You don't want to like these jagged lines. You want to kind of this kind of beautiful arc. Uh, especially in nature, everything has kind of a nice flow to it. All right, so I'm just kind of pushing these back around and cleaning up a little bit. Again, the, the main focus is trying to get that mouth uh, situated so it's kind of open. That way when we go to uh, ZBrush or continue modeling here, we have a little wiggle room to move this stuff around. All right, so I'm just gonna keep uh, moving these shapes down here. Okay, starting not to look like a bottlenose uh, dolphin, starting to look more like a fish. Again, it, this is kind of tedious. We're just kind of making marquees and grabbing these vert vertices or vertexes, whatever they're called, and keep moving around. All right, again, look at the flow of your line. Just make sure they're uh, nice and uh, kind of curved naturally. We don't want anything kind of looking wonky. All right, it's looking pretty good. So already right, like 10 minutes in, we've got a pretty good uh, handle of a rough shape uh, for this fish. All right, so we're gonna um, do a, one more split here to kind of create some curvature here. So I hit uh, right click, hold, object mode, right click, and er insert edge loop tool. All right, we'll go ahead and cut that. And go ahead and right click vertex to uh, a marquee. Again, curve everything. It has a nice kind of flow to it. Not, no straight lines and fishes. So just think about uh, kind of this natural kind of a form or line moving through it. Yeah, it's looking pretty darn good uh, for the amount of time that we've done so far. All right, and you notice I always kind of do a marquee grabbing, hopefully the front and the back, just in case there's uh, some points that we're missing. All right, uh, I'm really interested in start doing this top fin, so uh, let's cut a couple more times. In insert edge loop, so I'm gonna cut right here, right at this part of that tail. And I'm also gonna cut right there so you can see I'm starting to get ready to extrude that out in just a second all right so if we roll, roll over that you can see that's a cue and so if I hit Q it goes into a marquee pool tool and we're gonna go ahead and hit W and start pulling these down again make sure those lines are nice and awesome looking so this is funny, I started off with a stingray, but it became a little bit too challenging because the imagery is that, uh, or the images I got off the internet were pretty poor. So I couldn't really tell what I was modeling. Also, I didn't, couldn't get a good perspective what the side was. So this is a fish, so pretty well know kind of the anatomy of a fish versus a um, stingray. But we may not give up. I may try to find one over at our lab here at the school, see if there's uh, one they have pickled up, but maybe they can bring it out and I can do some photogrammetry. All right, so we're gonna do one more uh, split uh, for good luck. All right, right click vertex, all right, and W to pull that up, pull that up. And I may even give you uh, this model underneath as a kind of a training wheels. I always like to, sometimes when my students are first time doing a modeling, it's complex. I put this underneath so they can kind of look at it. And we'll go over that class if we do do that. I think it's fair because you guys are taking in a lot of information today. I want to make sure you're having fun with it also. All right, so you can see kind of my lines are kind of getting crunched in here again. Try to make it nice and smooth, kind of nice flow. Lines should be kind of look natural, not uh, jagged. So if you look from far away, it looks unusual, please fix it because it'll just get worse and worse as we start modeling. All right, so we have our fish. Uh, you can see that front really looks uh, prehistoric. So we're gonna go to the top view, kind of pull that out so it's a little bit more rounded. Again, uh, 
don't have a top view of this fish, it would have been great to help uh, figure out how to make it look a little bit more realistic. I think they, they have a pretty good uh, pointed kind of a ball nose front there. Okay, I'm just going to pull this. Just going to do my best to kind of simulate. And we'll go up to uh, our side view. And again, we're going to turn this off. All right, you can really start to see those lines, see how they're wavering here. Just kind of clean that up, pull that down. All right, you can see these probably need to bulge out a little bit. It's starting to look more like a trout. And again, you really need to know the physiology or the anatomy of this fish. Anytime you model something, take thousands of photos. I mean, you're right there uh, in the mangroves. And I said Everglades earlier, but the mangroves, and you'll be able to uh, spot these fish or at least uh, get some better imagery. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn off that back plate really quickly and turn this back uh, thing off. And we're gonna, again, clean up, get rid of these uh, back uh, faces that we're not going to use. It'll just cause it to kind of look funny and weird. So I go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and hit three. So we're going to go look at what it would look like in subdivisional mode. All right. So it's looking a little bit more uh, fish-like. Again, very crude. It's starting to look not like an animal cracker or a uh, or I don't know what else it would look like, but it's looking a little bit better. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and hit one. We're gonna go back to our kind of our box uh, mode and you can see uh, definitely this line could definitely be pulled out uh, here. So we'll probably stop here in a second. I definitely wanna pull the, the fins up on the top in just a second. All right, so we're just trying to round, round certain things and make it look natural. See this line kind of wavering up, just pull it down. We're gonna add a lot more geometry in just a second, but uh, just gonna keep it simple, simple geometry for now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, in just a second, we'll stop recording, we'll go on to our second video. This is a lot to take in, uh, but you guys have a good two hours to do this, so hopefully we we can do it. So I'm going to do an insert edge loop right on the edge here. And this is going to give me the ability to uh, grab some faces and extrude them up and definitely for the fin area. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead, go right click hold, and we're going to go to phase. All right, so we've got them all selected there. And we're going to shift uh, right click the hold and hit extrude face and it's going to bring up that hot box and we're going to hit w now if we pulled it out it would go out in that direction that arrow is going so we're going to hit w and just kind of pull up and i'm going to extrude it uh, several times I'll hit w again and g and w one more time all right so that's pretty good uh geometry count for us right now and i'm going to go ahead and do my vertex and start pulling these and start follow the silhouette of our uh, image that we have here as a reference. All right, so we're gonna pull this over. Again, we're gonna get rid of that image shortly. Uh, again, it was just to uh, get us started. All right, you can see I'm just kind of pulling this down. These are pretty tight together. All right, and we'll start adding some ridges, probably a little bit more in ZBrush, but we'll definitely get some, start with some really cool modeling here. All right, hopefully some of you have gone redfish, uh, gone out for fishing and caught some redfish. They're amazing uh, fish. They really fight really hard. Um, I remember catching them in high school um, and the past there in Panama City, Florida. All right, so you can see I'm just kind of pulling these. There's a lot of cleanup to do once we get into perspective, but I'm not gonna do too much. Just kind of get uh, kind of a somewhat of a shape. 
right? So if I hit three, you can start to see kind of a interesting shape. So let's do one more. This is the fen. This is the, what they're famous for in the shallows, especially uh, in very shallow, muddy water. They will fen, and it kind of gives them away, and so it's really easy to cast to them and catch them sometimes, uh, especially in, with, when they're in schools and so forth. All right, so we're gonna hit face. We're gonna grab this. Shift and right click extrude face. Hit W and I'm gonna pull this up. Uh, when I hit G, W one more time. G, W one more time. And I'm gonna actually just grab this guy and hit G, W. Let's see if we can extend that. All right, so it gives me a little bit more data, but maybe, uh, maybe not all this is what we need. All right, so I'm gonna go right click uh, vertex, and I swear we're gonna stop in just a second. Take a break. All right, so these are perfect for a uh, ZBrush to kind of pull, pinch those guys out. Again, if we're going too fast, I will, I'm doing iterative saves, so you can always kind of, or not iterative, but increments, uh, so you can always grab this stuff and uh, kind of go back and catch up if I'm going too fast for the class. All right. So anyways, it's not uh, spiky and pointy, pointy yet, but we'll do a couple more splits. I definitely want to get kind of the broad strokes of these fins and then the eyeball and the gill on the next tutorial, and then, um, then we'll just keep splitting and getting it closer and closer to kind of what we are looking for before we get into ZBrush. All right, so again, you saw me save it. I'm gonna do an increment and save one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and hit three, and just go ahead and start looking at our uh, silhouette. And the mouth looks really funny, silly looking, uh, but you can start to see some resemblance of a fish now, not so uh, goldfish looking. Um, all right, I'm gonna stop there. Again, we're going to uh, continue on with the, the bottom ones and also gills and all that on the second video.